Welcome back to Chit Chat History. Today I'll be discussing unusual taxes. People have been taxed for centuries. We aren't here to debate taxation, but I am here to discuss some of the bizarre things that people used to be taxed for. I've worked as a historic interpreter in a heritage house, and by far my favourite facts were all the weird ways that you could be taxed just based on your home. One of my favourite is the window tax. Coming into effect in England in 1696, this tax was literally that, a tax on windows. There were also similar taxes in place in France, Ireland and Scotland at this time. The tax was imposed on houses with more than 10 windows, so properties with 11 to 20 windows were taxed an extra 4 shillings, which is about £28 today and 20 plus had to pay eight shillings, so about 55 pounds. And anyone with 30 or more windows paid 20 shillings on their house, which was about 120 pounds. And keep in mind, this tax did not clarify the definition of a window, and it was not based on size. It was hoped that this tax would just target the wealthy, so anyone with more than 10 windows surely was rich. However, it did also affect those living in urban areas. The poor would often subdivide larger tenement buildings, and this was still classified as one dwelling, and therefore landlords had to pay up for the windows. Now, have you ever passed one of these blocked windows while walking down the street? This is usually the effect of the window tax. You have too many windows, you don't want to pay extra for them, just block it in. It's no longer a window, no longer an expense. And if you're wondering why not just get rid of the window altogether, many housing designs throughout the 17th century loved symmetry. So if you're not able to afford all the windows in the house, but you want to keep the window to outline and keep the architecture intact. The tax was extended in 1766 to a seven window limit. So houses with more than seven windows actually reduced by two thirds in this time period. So look around your house right now and tally up your windows. If you live in a house with exactly seven windows, that may not be a coincidence. The removal of windows often led to an improper ventilation for poor housing, much less natural light and the spread of disease. This tax was therefore extremely unpopular and a national campaign spread to remove the tax, which was finally repealed in 1851. So why windows? Well, it was said that the benefit of this tax is that it was very easy to assess, as windows cannot really be hidden well from the outside of the house. So let's count this one for example. A Georgian period home like this, with at least that many windows just on the back side of the home. Well, that would have been a lot of extra money. Now windows can let light in, which was seen as evidence of wealth. Only the biggest manor homes and stately houses could afford to have this much light and this many windows. So the very fact that the tax was meant to target the rich is because it was presumed that only the wealthy would have 10 or more windows. Now windows equal wealth and many houses in this period specifically have as many windows in the front of the house so that all your neighbours and guests would presume that you have a lot of wealth even if they never get to see the back of your house, which actually doesn't have any windows. This can be seen today, in all of these modern homes all have something in common. Can you guess what it is? So that is the window tax. Now next time you spot one of these really odd looking blocked up windows, you know why. And perhaps next time you're visiting a massive Georgian mansion, you can count just how much they were willing to pay for that natural light. Drop a comment below for any other unusual taxes you want me to talk about next, and trust me there are quite a few of them. As always, my sources are down below in the description if you want to do some more digging into this topic. Thanks for watching.